Go and um, one one geometric sequence I was looking at was this guy, this fella, uh, Sierpinski triangle, which follows a geometric sequence. So I've got one blue triangle. I've got three purple triangles. I've got nine orange triangles, which makes a geometric sequence. If I kept going, so we can we can write that down. Okay. So with that geometric sequence, one, three, nine, twenty-seven, eighty-one. I don't have that many triangles on there. But we know if we wanted to find um, the common ratio, common ratio, I'm just going to divide two consecutive terms, 9 divided by 3 or 3 divided by 1, and it'll give me 3. Okay. Um, I also know my first term is one big triangle, my first term, which is also T1, is 1. And suppose I want to say, um, what about, um, what will the 27th term look like? Okay, and so what we learned last time is if I start at term 1, it'll take me 26 steps to get to that 27th term. It'll take me 26 steps if I start here. So I know that it's going to be the... the 27th term is going to be the first term, 1, times the common ratio, uh, what was the common ratio, 3, repeated 26 more times. Okay? And what I'm going to get is the number so big, it's not going to fit all the way on the calculator. They're going to write it in, in standard form. It's going to give me 2.54. times 10 to the 12th. Uh, number so big that won't fit all the way on the calculator. Okay, so if I were to write this out, we'd get somewhere about, uh, what would that be? That would be, there's the millions, billions, trillion. Two and a, about two and a half trillion triangles if I took this to the 27th step. All right? So what about a general formula that we have here? Well, I do know that this guy here, that exponent, is always going to be one less than n. Always. All right? Because that's how many steps it's going to take me to get there. My general formula will be the first term, a, times the common ratio to the power of one less than n. Now, that hopefully that makes some sense. Let's check this one out. Calculate the sixth term of the geometric sequence. And this time, let's just use a formula. Easy. Uh, well, first step, what's the common ratio? 12 divided by 3. That's just 4. What's the first term? That's just 3. And what's n? I want, I want 6. I could have, you know, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 4. Okay. Uh, or I can just say, well, the sixth term is going to equal the first term times common ratio to the power of 6 minus 1. Now, I'm not going to put 6 minus 1 here. I'm just going to put 5. So that gives me a value of the sixth term, 3 times 4 to the fifth. Okay. That's it for now using the formula. Do some more practice later.